Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this example, we're going to look at cumulative frequency distributions and how to create those. I am starting with some data, in fact, a frequency distribution that we created in the last video called frequency distribution examples. So if you're wondering where this data came from, check back at that one and then click back over here when you're ready. So getting into a cumulative frequency distribution, Cumulative means to add up or to sum up as you go. So a cumulative frequency count counts up not just the number in that class, but the number that of items that fall into that class and each class before it. So let's look at this age data and come up with our cumulative frequencies. So for the class 11 to 13, we are asking how many of our data values from our sample fall between 11 and 13. Well, in this case, that's going to be the same as our frequency. You can count it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of our data values. So notice that from a frequency distribution to a cumulative frequency distribution, the number in the first class is always going to be the same. Where things start to change is when you get into the second class and beyond. So for the second class, when I'm talking about frequency or cumulative frequency, I'm asking how many data values fall between 14 and 16 and 11 and 13. So what we're going to do is we're going to add up 5 plus 9, or the frequencies in those classes, to get a cumulative frequency of 14. The cumulative frequency for the class 17 to 19 asks how many are, of our data values fall between 11 and 19. So again, we will take our frequencies from those three classes and add them up. 5 plus 9 plus 9 should give us 23. So our cumulative frequency for the class 17 to 19 is 23. And then finally, our last class, how many data values fall between 11 and 22? Notice when you get to the last class, you might be thinking, well, all of them, right? Exactly. So if we add up all the frequencies from that class and each one below it, we should get 24, which is what we expect. We should always here get our sample size. So the cumulative frequency for your last class should always equal your sample size. All right, guys, that's cumulative frequency. I'll catch you in the next video.